How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Michael or Uprising Hero. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys we are going to be talking about Resident Evil Villages DLC. It's supposed to be coming relatively soon. It was confirmed and we are going to be talking about what the possibilities of this DLC could be. Currently the trauma pack and the everything unlocked DLC is currently out So those are two DLCs that are already available for a person to purchase We're gonna be talking about the possibility of Resident Evil Village's DLC and the theories that I have and This is gonna be in no particular order some of these uh, theories are coming from game game events and also some scrapped concept art So we're gonna be going in no particular order and we're just gonna jump right into it so the first theory or the first possibility of DLC could be the scrapped Ada Wong concept art. Ada was a, supposed to be in the game at launch, but unfortunately she was cut. And unfortunately we don't really know beside her conflicting with the plot essentially, that's essentially what we got. And I mean, if she was going to be one of the characters to help Ethan or kind of you know, be an antagonist, because that's usually what she is, you know, she's kind of a double agent, she usually does help, but then she also double crosses us most of the time, she is also a love interest for Leon S. Kennedy, but I mean, I couldn't really see her plot going anywhere beside that, so I kind of do understand on Capcom's end, but the second theory that I do have is the Maiden DLC. So basically, we did get the demo for the Maiden DLC, and this was only available to PS5, Okay, now, it's very unfortunate that it was only available to PS5, and it didn't really give us a whole lot besides some gameplay, and you know, it didn't really give us anything for the story, but, I mean, it was cool to play around with. But what if we had more stories, and yes, stories of events that happened at the castle or in the village prior to the events of Resident Evil Village? We get notes, and we also get, like little uh newspaper articles around the game that tells us events that happened prior to the you know ethan coming to re the village and i mean what if we heard these little stories in the way you know what if we saw these little stories essentially how they did in resident evil 7 you know with clancy and the news team or the investigating team why don't we have something like that why don't we have um little stories of people that are surviving the village or just you know people that happen events because we get events from like 1800s 1900s you know stuff like that or you know even the daughter story like how they turned into the daughters and then you know how they eventually got killed by ethan spoiler <laughs> um yeah but uh another the third theory i do have is why don't we have the bsa plot now at the end of the game and i don't i'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a spoiler warning and i do apologize for giving you guys that other spoiler um but this is i mean it's, it's kind of a big spoiler but i'm just want to give you guys a little spoiler warning uh i'll wait like a one i'll count to three and that'll be your only spoiler warning. one two Three. essentially the bsa does play a role at the end of the game i'm not going to jump into too much of it um because i don't want to spoil too much but yeah essentially uh you chris runs into the bsaa we don't really know why they're there but um they are pretty much there and i don't want to spoil into too much but yeah they're there and what if we find out what the plot is, like why they're there, you know, if we have Leon or maybe someone else that works in the BSAA that does take on the like mission or something, we see it from their point of view, what's happening in the village during the events of Resident Evil Village or why the BSAA is there, just in general, why don't we get like events that lead to that, you know what I mean? Just like things that we hear or why don't we see some gameplay of it? Like, that'd be pretty cool these are just like miniature stories how these are just the theories that i have like miniature stories from resident evil 7 i mean I, I just thought of that you know and the last one is this is just you know this is just the last one but i think it would be a far stretch but what if we got some and this is gonna be a far stretch okay this is gonna be a far stretch but i mean i could possibly see it happening um i mean i don't think a lot of people would see this but i mean i could i could i mean it's a very big possibility I'm, I'm taking too much time but essentially it would be a rose dlc um playing as rose or maybe we see the events after resident evil 8 you know leading into resident evil 9 what she's capable of what she's doing maybe she's 16 at the events or 17 that'd be a cool play time to play as a character you know 
but I don't want it to be too graphic, you know? Um, but we could see what happens to her, you know, how she's handling Ethan's death. I mean, it's been some, quite some time since his death. And, you know, we just see what happens to her, how, how some experiments, maybe what's going on with Mia, you know, stuff like that. What What's happened, you know, like we can just catch up her powers. Maybe we can see some car powers concept, you know, but I, I would see this would be too far of a stretch. But yeah, I mean, I would just like to see these events lead into Resident Evil 9. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much going to have to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Good one.